first off, late coming out via the New York Post. Some chitter chatter, pitter patter, some stuff I talked about months ago and rumored uh, about Saquon Barkley being rumored to, to be a target for the Miami Dolphins. Now, this happened quite some time back, but there was consideration. And as things dissolved, now this hasn't been confirmed yet, but as things kind of dissolved between the Giants and Saquon Barkley, the Dolphins have reacquired and looking to get some done. Now, Saquon's sent, signed something, but now that he's signed with the Giants, this stuff's coming out. And this this is, uh, I believe they they did they, they made their first um, reach out to him uh, back before the draft. So there is something to be said there. But Saquon Barkley, rumors. <laughs> I don't know why it says rumors. Let me change that. It's not rumors. It's rumors. I pulled up my keyboard. What the frick is going on? All right, there it goes. Finally. I got some sticky buttons going on right now. What's up? So, yeah, Saquon Barkley, rumors and contract. Um, and all this stuff has come out through the New York Post as of recent today. Um, they asked the question, did the did the Giants try to trade Saquon at his request during tense negotiations of his contract? Now, you guys remember that. He did request a trade, and the Dolphins were like, hey, what's going on with that Saquon? And I was when I said the Dolphins have reached out about it, and everyone was like, oh, da, 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 da. I didn't hear another peep about it, but here it is, finding its way. Like, like everything else in this situation, nuance is involved. Saquon did not request a trade. He has, he has said he wants to be a Giant for life on multiple occasions, and the Giants were never interested in trading their best offensive playmaker. Multiple sources have told the Post. However, when negotiations stalled after the Giants placed a $10.1 million franchise tag on Barkley in March, the running back's representation asked the team to shop him around the league to shape a fair price, as first reported from Pro Football Talk and confirmed. Giants declined the request to test the market, league sources said, contradicting PFF's report that the Giants reached out to a dozen teams that to make a deal, but Barkley was still seeking 15 to $16 million per year at this point. Barkley responded on Tuesday on Twitter with three cap emojis to P PFT or yeah, uh, PFT in translation. He's saying that this is a lie. In fact, the giants turned down two offers called, called into them by teams who have since been shown in the running back market as of late, including the Miami Dolphins league sources. It is thought that the Dolphins are the favorites to land free agent Cook, which that's how this has to affect him. Barkley and the Giants agreed to a one-year deal worth up to $11 million on Tuesday morning, da 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 yada, yada, yada. They didn't want to let him go, and I'm sure by – all deal the Dolphins would have given him a multi-year deal, but you know, Giants worked it out with him, and the Dolphins aren't aren't looking to pay a running back ten million dollars a year, but they would pay you seven million dollars a year over the next three years giving you, say, $28 million guaranteed over the next three years, which is a deal I think a lot of running backs would be happy to take. I mean, look, you could give them, you know, 10 mil a year for the next three years, something to that effect. But Dolphins did inquire. They've been interested. This is before they got A-chain, as you know. Um, but how does this affect Cook? 
And how does it affect the Cook situation with the Miami Dolphins? They've been in the market. There's been no secret about it. They reached out to uh, uh, Minnesota to talk about trade. They've reached out to uh, the Giants to talk about trade. They knew they needed help in the running back room to add another dynamic into this offense. Now, they may or may not have that and believe that in A-chain. But Mike McDaniel and the Miami Dolphins are in a win-now mode. And I like that they're reaching out to these types of guys. There's no reason to think that if A-chain come here in camp, doesn't look like this, or God forbid Moster or Jeff Wilson goes down. If Josh Jacobs isn't going to work it out over there, maybe they maybe they take interest into that. Maybe they work out that trade. Maybe they go ahead and sign Cook to a two-year deal for closer to money that he wants. Maybe Cook ends up being here because the, the running back room works out great. No, Cook doesn't get any offers, and they he accepts the offer that was given to him. Now, it has come out recently that Cook has talked about, no, they never gave an offer, but it's conflicting reports. But he was very vague on, on the offer. Again, trying to keep the window open. I'm sure when, you know, I'm not, not 100% sure, but I'm going to say I'm 100% sure that when you have contract negotiations with somebody, there's there's a little bit of... I don't want to say a gag order because you haven't signed anything, so that isn't the fact. But you expect to be respected in, with privacy and things kept behind closed doors. And again, Cook isn't going to be so interested in letting the price point come out to be known what he's getting out there in the open market if another team comes along and offers him better. So there, he's not going to confirm it, but he, it was a little tongue-in-cheek when he said it. And uh, the Dolphins, by all by all confirmations on my end, they did offer him money. It was around four and a half million for a one year deal, making him the highest paid back, but not being around where his desire is to get around eight million to eight and a half. He wants ten. But I, I've been told he would he would be very happy with eight. I don't know if the Dolphins bring that deal up. If it looks like A Chain is struggling with the offense, but it doesn't. That's that's just the facts. If it doesn't, and 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 or if or if he does, and or if they have some setbacks, or I don't know, Sylvan Ahmed and both, uh, 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 you know, uh, uh, Gaskins both get injured, and they're now looking for guys on the street, and they're rolling in and fifty-three man roster cuts, and they're like, I only got three running backs on this team. Maybe that could squeeze out an extra million, bringing the Dolphins closer to five and a half to six million guaranteed, and that'll bring Cook in the building. Uh, to me, this is about, you know, Cook wants the money he wants, but Saquon wanted it too, and he's a young running back, and all he did was get $11 million versus his 10.1. He didn't get a big deal. So this is this is good for the Dolphins and the Cook situation. Yeah, Cook is a proven commodity, but he is an aging running back, and they usually don't get paid, certainly not $10 million. This could this could really bode well for us how this worked out. And depending on what happens with Jacobs and, and, and over there, if Jacobs ends up, ends up you know caving and plays under his, uh, his uh, franchise tag, that's only going to help the Dolphins again. The only thing that stands in the way of the Miami Dolphins – not getting Cook is another team coming in saying we need Cook as our running back one. We're gonna bring you in day one. You're gonna be the guy. We're gonna give you seven million, seven and a half, eight million, nine million guaranteed this year to be it. And that listen, even if a team gives them say seven and a half million, that all depends on what kind of tax bracket we're talking about here. Because Miami could go, well, they'll give you seven. I know we were at four. And a half, we'll bump it up to five and a half, and that ixo facto works out. To me, Cook and his camp are just waiting for another offer to counter Miami to see if they could raise their offer. And I think everybody else in the NFL knows it. They're not they're not interested in giving Cook a contract for him to in his representation to take it back to Miami to try to juice up the offer to sign with the team he wants to sign with, be in an organization he wants to play with 
on a team he knows is going somewhere. And that's where we stand with the Cook situation. He did get an offer from Miami. That's a fact. And just like this New York uh, Post article that came out when Saquon and the Giants and the Dolphins reached out trying to find out about that, this was back in March. Cook ends up with the Dolphins. We'll be like, yeah, back in whenever the Dolphins did reach out, try to trade, and did reach out and made him an offer, and he did want to wait and see what he could get on the open market, but he ended up signing with the Dolphins, and it'll all come out later. And it'll be like just an article in the New York Post. It'll be talked about a little bit amongst our community, but all in all, it'll fall on deaf ears because it won't really matter because enough time has passed. Not too dissimilar to you know some legal troubles people get into which is another thing that is concerning about Cook with the legal troubles. Hopefully that gets figured out sooner rather than later because that is not helping his 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 uh, ability to be a commodity worth some money. But when you're a billionaire buying your toys, uh, you know what's going on with your players and what you're getting into. So I'm sure there's a settlement willing to happen. And then again, maybe Cook is waiting before he signs a deal. So he can show in his finances and what he's willing to pay for the restitution in this situation uh, uh, and then sign a deal. So then that's not brought in the restitution type situation or maybe the countersuit on his thing works. There has been some defamation of character. Man, that whole situation is is dirty. But to me and, and going back to when I had a uh, cat on at Brian Cat NFL on Twitter, um, formerly of. Uh, with, with Paul over there, um, when we did our 53-man roster breakdown, we put Cook in the running back room. There's just too much smoke to not be fire there. So that's what I think. Thank you. <laughs>